Hi there and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Motherfucking Empowerment. Here we talk about consciousness, the mind, and how to reach your fucking dreams. All right. Here our dreams come true. Here we learn, we understand, and we apply. So that we can achieve our dreams. And a little bit about myself, if you're new here. I've been incarcerated and during that time, and it's not just me. There's a lot of people who've been incarcerated and as soon as they get out, they like get, they like get results like night and day. Why? It's because they're visualizing, okay? They're visualizing a beautiful scene in their mind. Okay, and it's so easy to do that when you are in a place where it's ugly. Okay, you have no choice. Okay, so I was able to manifest going to college and like just doing great, you know, doing great, getting good grades, getting all the resources, everything just kind of like aligned. Why? Because it was what I was visualizing. So I'm going to go over studies that teachers have written about in the past you know these are metaphysical teachers and this includes the bible this includes politicians i go over all of that okay so today i'm going to go over thomas troward's book the edinburgh lectures chapter 11 excuse me chapter 10 intuition it's a very short chapter so uh, this may be a short video okay but before we get started i want you to ask yourself two things okay number one are you ready to learn and apply from me? If you are not, get the fuck out. Number two, you ready to be the highest version of yourself, okay? To listen to your heart, okay? To achieve your highest desires, your highest dreams, your highest goals, your highest aspirations, however you want to call them. You know, people call dreams just stuff that don't exist. Okay, to me, they were my goals. Because how the hell am I going to find something that I'm going to go towards if I don't can't, can't even think about it? Okay? And then when you're locked in a cell for two years or more or however time, you're like, okay, what am I going to do when I get out? You got to think. You got to visualize. Okay? That's the good thing about being in a place where you're kind of, um, I could got to say locked up, where you're locked up, right? For example, you're, you're, you're in a financial situation you can't leave can't go anywhere all you have is your mind right maybe you're on a on an island maybe hawaii or something you can't leave you, you can only go to certain places so you're just like dang okay you gotta start visualizing those places okay that's what we're doing here but with our goals so i presume you're not incarcerated but it's a it's a good example it's a good analogy right all right so now that you've said yes to those questions you're ready to learn. Okay, so let's get started. Intuition. Okay, intuition comes from the subconscious mind. That's what Thomas Trower says. Intuition says the sub subconscious mind can tell you things because the subconscious is found in the non-physical. Okay, the conscious, you know, the, the conscious mind, right now you're using your conscious mind, is, is the, the mind that can see the senses, right? That can use the senses. Sight, touch, smell, hear, etc. Taste. That's the conscious mind. <clears throat> now, the subconscious mind, I'm going to quote this, right? Because he says it this way. Quote, the individual subjective mind is in the, is in, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to start over again. Quote, the sub, blah, blah, blah. quote, the individual's subjective mind is his own innermost self and its first care is the maintenance of the individuality of that which it is the foundation and since it is pure spirit it has its continual existence in the plane of being where all things subsist in the universal here and everlasting now and the and consequently can inform the lower mind of things removed from its ken, either by distance or futurity. 
either by distance or future, futurity, all right? Removed from its canon means it's removed from its knowledge. Our conscious mind does not have the knowledge of the future, and it does not, ha does not have knowledge of things that are farther away from us. The subconscious mind, okay, does. The subconscious mind is the mind that is impressed. It's the universal mind. Okay, it's the universal mind. The subconscious mind is the universal mind. Okay, let me say that again. The subconscious mind is the universal mind. Okay, we have a subconscious mind. It's linked. It is not separate away from the, from the universal mind. Okay, it's not separated. The universal mind cannot be separated because then it's us and, it's us and him or us, us and God. No, God is in everything. God is the subconscious mind, the universal subconscious mind. That's how we can impress people. We can impress um, water. We can impress animals if they're receptive, right? Me, I'm not receptive, okay? Me, I would just be like, somebody tells me something negative, I'll be like, all right, nope. Next. You know, I might, might kind of like think about what, what a person just said or what just had happened. Maybe there's a loud noise. And then I'll say, is this? And I'll, I think, should I receive it? Should I not? Okay, then I just accept it or let it go. Okay. Other people, unfortunately, they, they don't even, they don't even have that. Okay. So just be wary about, about that. You know, now that you're experiencing the, this information, just understand that, have empathy, you know, have empathy and use this information wisely because if you do it for harm, harm will come. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So not to scare you, you know, I'm not saying how will come. Uh, a good affirmation I like for, for good conditions is this. Okay, two came to my mind right now. First one is God's long arm of love, safety, and protection surrounds me in my affairs. I could feel like a, oh, some warmth, warmth around me. That's a recent one that I, that I created. Um, the second one, right? I, I got it from Florida School. Should I just changed it? Second one is, this one is verbatim from Florence. Okay, Scoble Shin. All plants that my father has not planted in heaven are rooted up and incinerated. I added the incinerated. Well, other than that, it's a Florence Scoble Shin. Okay. Because that's removing all negative thoughts. We live on heaven on earth. We have unlimited power, unlimited, unlimited thought power. We have unlimited power, therefore and uh, unlimited resources. We just have to impress these ideas upon us. That's why there's people who are extremely wealthy and those who lack, okay? There's those who are extremely healthy and those who lack the health. Those who are extremely loved and those who lack, okay? Some of us are just born with it. It's cool, you know, <laughs> you know? Everyone has their own experiences. We're here to create our certain things, okay? Um, if you think about it, in the end, we have all of it. We all we have it all. We have it fucking all. Okay, we just are stuck in the old relative belief, okay? The race belief. Thomas Shore calls it the race belief, okay? I call it just living in the physical only. Just, that's, that's what happens when you only live in the physical, you know? If you look to God or the universe first, you have everything. You have love. The universe loves you. That's why you're alive. Okay, that's why you exist. You have to know that there's a God and there's a universe and there's a creative power. You must have an intellectual understanding of this. Abundance. Okay. You can impress the subconscious mind, the God, universal mind, and it will come to you. How do you think this chair was created? How do you think this building was created? You think it just somebody planted a seed in the ground and it, like, they watered it and put fertilizer and it came out? No, somebody had to think about it, create it intellectually, create that form, and it had to be here. Okay. That's the abundance, the health, same thing. Put it in your mind. You have it. 
So you have health, you have love, you have wealth. Now you can create heaven on earth. What is it that you want? What is it that you want to achieve? Happiness, maybe it's happiness. Happiness doesn't really have to do with anything that you create for yourself, you create for others. Here's that, that's the rule of the universe, the law of cause and effect. What you give is what you get. You help people, you will get help. You help, you make people happy, you will get happy, okay? A life like that is worth living, okay? All right, so I digress. Oh, intuition, intuition, okay? I just explained the definition of the intuition. It is the subconscious mind, is the universal mind telling you the next steps, okay? Because it has ken, okay? It has ken. Ken is a word meaning it has knowledge that, the con that you are not aware of, okay? Far from your understanding because it is in the everlasting now, okay? It transcends time and space. Okay, it transcends time and space. Now, <clears throat> here's how you can know about it. Okay, Thomas Schroer shares two ways to know when, sub when your subconscious mind or your intuition is reaching out to you. You have a feeling contrary to your logic. For example, you say, I want to go and maybe... You want to go to a place and the fastest way to get there is on your bike okay you want to go somewhere the fastest place is like to go on your bike but something is telling you okay something is telling you don't take your bike walk okay, but I want, to, I want to get there fast i'm supposed to get there faster like i should get there on time that's the logical thing to do but something's telling you no walk you know what Leave 30 minutes earlier so you get there on time, but walk. You're like, why? Walk. There's a voice telling you. And the moment you get your bike, it screams, walk. So you're like, okay, 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 okay. I know there's experiences you have that like that. And so you're like, okay, I'm just going to walk. All right, I'm going to walk. And so you walk. You know, you don't prepare your bike. You know, your helmet and things like that. And you walk. And let's say you're manifesting the love of your life. So you're manifesting the love of your life. Or maybe it's a business partner or like, you know, a, uh, a sale. Or maybe you're, uh, if it's for health, maybe you run into somebody who's going to share some knowledge, okay, for you. And so you walk and you run into that person. You see the love of your life. You run into her or him. Something happens, right? They, they come up to you and ask you, hey, excuse me, do you know this? And you're like, yeah, actually, I do know where that place is at. I'm going over there. Let's go together. Or you find the partner. It's like, hey, um, <clears throat> hey, how's it going? You know, like, oh, I'm good, good. Hey, man, that's a nice shirt. Oh, thank you. Oh, I make shirts too. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, look I'm looking for somebody who can help me make some shirts. Okay, boom. How many are you looking? I'm looking for um, 10,000 shirts. Okay, how much do you sell those shirts? Well, individually, I sell them for, for 20. But if you do a, a bulk, I cut it in half, do 10. 10 times 10,000 is 100,000. You just made $100,000. Now, health, right? Maybe um, you um, want to burn fat. So you run into somebody and tells you, hey, man, yeah, I, I lost a lot of weight. I ran every, every day for about 30 minutes, just every day for a year, and I lost all this weight. You know, I'm, and I don't eat unhealthy no more. I don't run that much anymore, but uh, I, don't, I don't eat unhealthy. So the, the running is what helped me burn, burn off the fat. And then so you're like, oh, I got to do that. I'm going to do that. That's something doable I can do, just 30 minutes a day. Wake up, run 30 minutes. See how all this stuff could happen? These are just scenarios of your intuition. And it started because you listened to your intuition. Even though the logical thing to do was obvious, something, the inner voice, okay, told you. <clears throat> okay. And here's... Before I go to the next example, here's something that, that I highlighted <clears throat> that he says. Um, the importance of understanding, understanding and following the intuition cannot be exaggerated, but I candidly admit the great dif practical difficulty of keeping the happy mean between the disregard of the interior voice 
and allowing ourselves to be run away from groundless fancies. The best guide is the knowledge that comes of personal experience what gradually leads to the acquisition of a sort of inward sense of touch that enables us to distinguish the true from the false and which appears to grow with a sincere desire for truth and with the recognition of the spirit as its source. Okay, that is just a lot of uh, verbiage or words. There's a lot of words. I keep saying verbiage, but I mean, there's just a lot of words in that sentence. Uh, in college, I like, I like to just concise it, make it concise. Uh, so here, here's what he says. He says, the best way to understand your intuition, how to use your intuition is through practice, through understanding, through practice, okay? At least for me, it's going to be not listening to my intuition to do to do something and then something bad happens, okay? So that's happened before. So my intuition is, yes, protecting you at times. It's protecting you. So know and understand the intuition that it is God, okay? Understand. So you can use the affirmation. God is always guiding me in the right direction, okay? Things are always happening for me. God is guiding me in the right direction, okay? Things are always happening for me. Life is happening for me, for my good. Life is happening for my good, okay? And now I'm going to go over the next example, okay? So he says to memorize the picture or the message that intuition gives you because... Intuition is like looking at a reflection in the lake, okay? It just, boom, the intuition comes, it's clear, all right? It's clear. There's no confusion. It's just clear. The voice is clear. The image is clear. The feeling is clear. Sometimes it's a, it's a feeling. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. It's a feeling and then you hear the voice. It says to memorize it because when you start thinking, start rationalizing, you're like, Da, 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 but this X, Y, Z, da, 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 1 plus 1 plus 2, blah, blah, you know, 1 plus 2, blah, 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 blah. Your mind becomes like other images coming onto that, that screen. Just a bunch of other images and it becomes blurred. It's no longer a clear image. It becomes a blurry image. So I'm going to share what he says right here. <clears throat> Quote, before the objective mind has begun to argue on the subject, it is like the surface of a smooth lake which clearly reflects the light from above. But as soon as it begins to argue from outside experiences, these also throw their reflections upon its surface so the original image becomes blurred and is no longer recognizable. Okay, so that's the words that he uses. Um, I shared it in a different way, right? And he... For the purposes of a manifestation, he, used, he says, for intuition, put it under the law of attraction. Okay? Put it under the law of attraction. He writes. This is a long sentence. He likes long sentences. It is, however, impossible to reduce so interior an action as that of the intuition to the form of hard and fast rules. And beyond carefully noting particular cases as they occur... Probably the best plan for the student will be to include the whole subject of intuition in the general principle of the law of attraction, especially if he or she sees how this law interacts with that personal quality of your universal spirit of which we have already spoken. <clears throat> okay. So we're using intuition to manifest Okay, to get results on the physical plane using our mind as we impress the subconscious mind, as we impress the universal mind, subconscious, universal mind, same thing, okay? Just the subconscious mind, I like to say, say it when I'm referring to your own individual subconscious mind, uh, that it's creating your life, your heaven on earth, because now the universe is going to start giving you messages. You got to decipher it, and you'll get better through practice. A good practice is just sitting down and listening, Sitting down and listening, okay? Your, your heart, your subconscious mind, okay, the heart, the feeling center, the feeling center. The subconscious feels, okay? <clears throat> so thought, feeling, and action, okay? When you have a thought, you know, when you emotionalize it, you're impressing the subconscious mind. You're attracting that, okay, vibration. 
you're attracting it through vibration because feeling is vibration and you attract what you vibrate on you start feeling confident you'll start attracting things that make you feel more confident you know you feel rich you start attracting being rich and having more resources okay so yeah of course i feel rich i have more than enough money of course it's natural girl a boy a boyfriend girlfriend comes of course i feel loved of course i'm vibrating on that of course <clears throat> so you're understanding how all this is working and now the intuition is going to help you because it will give you the ways it will give you the that voice okay or that feeling of what to do okay and listen to it and you'll get better through practice i like doing it in the morning i like listening to my heart to my intuition because Everything is quiet. Sit down. I just sit down, drink a cup of coffee, and just listen. And then I know what my goals are, my desires are, because every day the desires are there, so I, I assume them. I am. Then fill it in the blank right now. Okay, let's let's practice it. Okay, let's do some affirmations, and and it's gonna help you visualize. Okay, say your goal, the, your your main goal right now, top two or three main goals okay number one if you don't have two or three then just you know let, just let, let these sentences pass by i am grateful i fill in the blank say it or write it pause it i am grateful i or you could write i am so happy and grateful now that i have you know all right let's do the second one I am grateful. I and you you see you're feeling it and you're seeing it in your mind. Your the images are coming up. You have to have an image of what you desire. You can't say I have a cheesecake. I I I want to. I have a cheesecake and you don't know what a cheesecake looks like or feels like. You have some understanding, okay. Third one. I am grateful. I whatever feels comfortable for you okay you can write i have or i am grateful i am is the best way i am grateful i am so happy and grateful now that okay i am in possession i am i am is awareness just i am awareness i am you know right just ask yourself am i aware and just gonna come back to awareness <clears throat> all right so we are impressing the subconscious mind. Now look at the top, okay? The first one. You have it. You have assumed it now. You've claimed it in present tense. How do you feel now that you have it? Second one. You claimed it. How do you feel now that you have it? Third one. How do you feel now that you have it? Just now sit down and feel the feelings of uh, having it already. It's already there into the prototype. Now, whatever hunches come, whatever intuition calls out, take the lead. That's the lead, okay? That's the first sprouting of your thought in the absolute, okay? Just follow it calmly, calmly, right, and cheerfully. Not overexcited, okay? And in the end, step by step, you'll be guided and you'll reflect and be like, okay, that's how I got it. Of course. I hope you like this one. Make sure to like if you liked it, comment if you feel like commenting, and subscribe if it's calling to your heart to, to subscribe and get more of these videos, okay? And if somebody came to mind, it resonated, share it with them, okay? Maybe somebody spoke about intuition, okay? I love you. Until next time, peace.